Don't see my face. Go. No, you have to You're on. It. What do you mean? <laughs> hey guys, what's up? This is Brian and Kugan here. we in India. I'm so happy that I was able to come here with my darling son, who I'm very proud of. In terms of uh, his condition and um, all your guys' support and help, I really thank you all dearly. And uh, I think Kilian is doing well. So without any further ado, I'll hand you over to my darling son. Let's test the son and see goodbye. Hey guys, um, Kiwi33, such a base. Um, that was my dad. Crazy character that he is. Can you not do that right now? Anyways, um, really good news. I uh, went to the doctor today for the follow-up Doppler, and um, uh, things went well. Uh, things went really well. Um, basically, uh, we ch they checked the upper right, lower right, and lower left, uh, the areas of concern that were ballooned, and um, all the areas are actually holding the ballooning that took place. And um, it looks like based on some early numbers. Um, I've increased my blood supply by approximately um, double, so 200%. So um, that's really promising. Um, feel good. I mean, you know, like I said before, there hasn't been, it's been a week and I haven't had any, uh, any you know, updates or, or, or any changes. But, um, but I feel good. So, um, I don't know, I just really want to give you guys my weekly update, or this is, it's been a week since my, uh, since my procedure, and, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, in terms of what actually happened today, play by play, um, I was picked up, taken to the, uh, taken to the Portis Hospital in, uh, Noida, and, um, taken in for the Doppler. Uh, the doctor that actually did the procedure, or sorry, did the original Doppler, came back in, did the Doppler again today, and, um, he uh, he immediately made made some notes and, and said that you know he'd see improvements um, right away. So um, after that, I spoke with uh, Dr. Vikas. Uh, Dr. Vikas had outlined to me that um, you know if I were a little bit older and my case was a little bit different, um, I was a little bit more desperate, so to speak. Uh, stent in my lower right would have been uh, would have been recommended, but the fact that I'm young and uh, you know, my case isn't really that bad. Um, he recommends uh, strongly against the stent. So uh, that was pretty much it. Um, I got to see the video of my uh, my procedure, which was cool. Um, it was really interesting to see the uh, the balloon go in, um, or the the vein being ballooned, and the additional blood supply being uh, being routed through uh, through the rest of my body. Well, that was pretty neat to see. Um, other than that, I got a you know um, a vote of confidence, saying that the the actual procedure was a success and um, a good send off. So, other than that, I think my next update will probably be in the next uh, probably the next week or two. Um, just telling you guys what's going on um, once I get back to Toronto and get settled into my uh, my schedule. Um, I'm seeing my neurologist. I have to check my schedule, but I think it's on the 23rd or 25th of October. Uh, so we'll be going through uh, probably MRIs with him and uh, clinical exams. So we'll see how I fare against that. And uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. And my dad's making a lot of noise right now, really annoying me. But that's all right. Uh, anyways, we leave India in just about 24 hours. I'm really looking forward to getting back home seeing the family again, and, uh, you know, just getting back into the swing of things. I feel like I've been out of, uh, out of loop for a while. So, coming back soon. Lots of love. Kisses. Talk to you soon. Bye.